Super Bowl ads are famous for being really expensive and also some of the best ever. But just like the actual Super Bowls, I'm looking at you, Peyton Manning and the Broncos, there are a lot of flops. Hey, I'm Mike Dinella for Bus 60, and here are five of the worst Super Bowl ads ever. Racial stereotypes are always a face palm, like the sales genie spot from 2008 that featured Panda speaking in horribly offensive Chinese accents. Speaking of cultural marginalization, Groupon hired Timothy Hutton to lament the horrible play of the Tibetan people in 2011 before acknowledging that, with his coupon deal, they still whip up an amazing fish curry. This 2006 AmeriQuest flight accident spot didn't offend, and at least took a funny risk. But how awkward is the unavoidable Mile High Club conversation if you're watching the game with your parents? To quote my parents, I'm not even mad at you, Bud Light, I'm just disappointed. The brand so famous for amazing ads debuted its platinum beer in 2012 with a boring video of a bottle being made. But at least it Trump's Miller Lite's Evil Beaver ad from 1998. Annoyingly catchy song aside, <laughs> it's 60 seconds of nonsense, with a human-sized beaver terrorizing Wild West settlers for a cheap beer. The only good thing about bad commercials? They justify my 10th trip to the kitchen for more wings. Buzz 60, now you know. Pass it on.